Hi and welcome everyone to this fourth video tutorial of face swapping. We've seen previously how to find triangles in uh, both faces, but as the triangles in the two faces don't have the same sizes and perspective, we need to change them. If we want to put the corresponding triangle of the first face in the second face. So we're going to see now how to warp triangles. We'll see first a quick explanation on how to do that visually. Later on, we will do the coding using Python and OpenCV. Let's go. This is where we were at the last, in the last video. So let's take, uh, for example, one uh, one specific triangle. I will pick, for example, this triangle. So starting from this point to this point, and this triangle here in the first image will correspond in the second image to this one. And as you can see, these triangles are much different. This one on the first, on the first image has uh, almost, uh, I think they are almost equal. All the sizes, they have same uh, distance and also the angles are really similar, I believe. While the second one has this side and this side uh, much longer than this on the right uh, part. And our goal is to take this triangle and put it uh, from the first image and put it in the second image. So we, uh, we should change this triangle to make it look like this one. We're going to do this in uh, four steps. So let's see the first step. First step will be to take the area of the triangle only, to take a separate image. So we first select this area, um, a rectangle, this way, and the same for the second image, uh, more or less this way. Okay, I didn't take it exactly the triangle, but anyway, we take only the area of the triangle and that's the first step. So before going to explain the other three steps, let's do this using OpenCV. We go right into the code and here we have uh, where we have the triangulation of the second phase from the first phase. Let's now create also the triangulation of the first phase so that we will have both of them in one single uh, in one single loop. I will change this name triangulation of both faces. And I'm going to remove the lines that I I've drawn before this CV2 line uh, that I draw on the first phase at the beginning. Let's remove them as we don't need them. And also for the moment, we will keep this for the moment, these lines, I will, okay, let's keep them. This is triangulation of second phase. And before of the second phase, let's do the triangulation of the first phase. So instead of working with the Delaunay for the first phase, we will use the same triangulation method that we are using for the second and we'll work on a respective triangle at the same time. So first triangle of one image and then first uh, the first triangle on the second image which will be exactly the same. 
we need to make a distinction of landmarks points on the first image and landmarks points of the second image so let's change something here on faces where we do where we find the landmarks for the second face let's change landmarks points in landmarks points two and landmarks points two here and that's enough so here the triangulation of the second phase will take the points from landmarks point two two and two and also to uh, differentiate i don't know if this word exists in english differentiate the first the points of the first triangle from the points of the second triangle let's call this triangle 2 so tr2.1 and the same for the other point triangle 2.2 and triangle 2.3 and now for the first triangle we will make triangle tr1.1 equals to landmarks points uh, only landmarks points and I will copy this below point two and point three and index one and index two. Let's draw the line and we are only finding the triangulation of the first of the first uh, the first image in the first phase right now. So triangle 1.1, 1 .1. let's just add this TR1 before each point. And in the second image, I will add TR2. Okay, let's run the script and if everything is correct, we should have just the triangulation, uh, the triangulation in both the images. And exactly, we have the linear triangulation on both the images. Now we, uh, we have here an array with all the triangles. We loop through it and we draw each triangle at a time. So let's break the loop after the first triangle. We break. So we can work with only the first triangle. Let's see what the first triangle is. And we see the first triangle. The first triangle is just this one on the first face and this one on the second face. Uh, let's remove things that we don't need. So for example, this CV2 circle where I'm drawing the landmark points and this convex all. So I'm going to find the circle where I'm drawing uh, the landmarks of the second phase and here we have phase two and here the circle so i just comment this one and also i'm going to find the where i'm drawing the polygon of the convex hull and it's this one line 33 c to dot polynines of the convex hull Let's now work with the first triangle so we were at the point where we need to find of the triangle uh, only the square, uh, the rectangle containing the triangle. We have on OpenCV a function called bounding rect. So we take from the points, we generate a triangle. Uh, triangle one is equals to mp dot array we're going to put the points into a numpy array and we will have point one triangle one point one triangle one point two and triangle one point three and keep in mind that this must be np int 32 this is just the type of the array from the triangle one we now found find the bounding rect 
so direct one will be equals to cv2 dot bounding rect of the point so bounding rect of the triangle one so we we know x y width and height equals to rect one and with these coordinates we can draw the, uh, the rectangle cv2 dot rectangle we want to draw the rectangle on the first image as now we're working on the first image uh, now we need to pass the two points the first point is x and y while the second point is x plus width as is uh, the second point is bottom right so we need to add the width to the x and y plus height we define the color of the rectangle let's make it green as it's bgr format zero blue 255 of green and zero of red thickness let's make it two and now let's run the script and we shall see a rectangle surrounding the triangle that we have seen before on the first image and that's exactly what we wanted we don't need to draw the rectangle actually i just wanted to show you how uh, the location of this rectangle we instead want to extract this area from the image let's do the same on the second phase without drawing the rectangle so we don't need to draw the rectangle so i can cancel this line instead i'm going to copy this rect function on for the second image so after triangulation of the second phase we need to find the the triangle and then the bounding rect in the second phase so instead of triangle one let's say triangle two and let's change all the indexes to make it work with triangle two so triangle 2.1 triangle 2.2 triangle 2.3 rect 2 bounding rect of triangle 2 and the coordinates of rect 2 let's move on now on the first face And let's now extract the triangle uh, let's create his own image let's call it cropped triangle is equals to from the image we need to take these coordinates so we know that to to take some part of the image we need first to select the rows and then the width so the rows correspond to the height so it will be height to height plus no sorry uh, the rows correspond to the x uh, to the y and then y plus height and then we need to crop the other part of the image from x to x plus width same for the second image crop triangle let's say crop crop triangle 2 and now we can show the triangles uh, let's uh, remove everything that we don't need at the moment uh, we don't need to show the mask cv 2im show crop triangle 1 and then crop triangle and see that him show cropped triangle 2 and then cropped triangle 2 and let's run the script here we have the results uh, somehow I believe that I did some mistake on the second one as I don't see any triangle I'm drawing here the triangle but I don't see anything on the second one so exactly i cropped the first image using the accordion so the second uh, triangle we're going to crop it from the second image so after i change this we should see the correct result now that we got 
this rectangle area let's move on the second step second step is only to take the triangle inside the rectangle so we need to work with a triangle at time removing everything that we don't need here we have the area of the first triangle in both images but we don't only have the triangles but also we need we have what's outside the triangles we need to remove that in OpenCV we cannot just say take the triangle but we need to put a mask so it will the operation will look like this just need to put a mask to cover in black these parts outside of the triangles both triangles so let's do that let's simply create a black image with the same size of the crop triangles which would be like a mask so uh, let's call it crop crop triangle one oh, okay let's go on triangle one first cropped tr1 tr1 mask is equals to np dot zeros like cropped triangle this way we are simply creating creating a black image with the same size of cropped triangle so with the same size of this one but black image now we will fill the black image of white and white corresponds uh, with the area of the triangle so we will have white inside the triangle and black outside of the triangle To do this we need to find the coordinates how can we find the coordinates well let's take a look at this image we we have the coordinates of where this rectangle is located and also we have the coordinates of the three three points of the triangle so simply we remove from the original image this part right here we remove the y and the x and we will go right into this area and then we will add from this area the coordinates of the triangle so we let's do it this way we need to draw fill convex poly as we're going to fill the triangle one we're going to fill cropped triangle one mask the points well now let's work on the points we have let's now create the the points points is equals to np dot array first point will be triangle one point one the x but we need to remove the x of the rectangle so minus x so we found the first x of the first the x of the first point and then triangle 1.11 1, 1 minus y and let's do the same for all the other two points point 2 and point 3 triangle point 2 
point three and point three. And now we can see if we got this right. We are going to fill the convex body of points and color 255 which is white and once we have done this we can show the mask see it so that him show mask cropped triangle and then let's see crop triangle one mask Uh, um, only two non keyword arguments accepted. Let's see. Okay, okay. Well, we need to bond all the points into an array. And I forgot, I just put the points right away. Let's put them into an array and then let's convert the array into np.int32. This is always the data type that we need to use when giving the points to the functions in uh, OpenCV, at least this field convex poly. Uh, let's run the script again. Now it's correct. Only one mistake. I created the image in three channels. So instead of having black and white here I have black and blue. So let's just change the this one really fast. We are taking crop triangle, which is a color image. This one, okay, I don't have it now on the screen. Anyway, crop triangle, it's a color image. And from that, we are trying to create a mask, a color mask, while the mask must be only black and white. So instead of uh, creating this from the triangle let's just take the sizes that's only what we need so np dot zeros we create the array uh, ourselves and now we can define the size of the array the size will be width will be height and width and then the data type np.uint8 we know height and width because we took it before from the from the rectangle so let's run the script right now and that's exactly what we need we have the mask of this triangle so we can find the triangle just putting the mask and we'll remove all the other noise so now that we have, we have done the first two steps first one was find the rectangle of the area of the triangle the second one was to create a mask to extract the triangle now first step will be to put the mask and extract only the triangle Let's now use bitwise operators to create crop triangle. So cropped triangle is equals to cv2.bitwise and we take crop triangle, then again crop triangle, and then we put the mask. Mask is equals to mask. And I'm going to copy these two steps for the second image as well. For, I mean, for the second phase. Crop triangle two. And then instead of points, let's say points two triangle two uh, 
and now cropped triangle to mask and then crop triangle to to and two and two and we can now show both of them okay mask it's not equals to mask but we have uh, the mask has a specific name that's why we get the error oh I'm going back to triangle one crowd triangle one mask so the, this is the name of the mask. Mask in the first triangle, mask is equal to cropped TR1 mask. And then in the second triangle, mask is equal to cropped TR2 mask. Let's run the script again. This is the first triangle correctly cropped. And here I have the second triangle which has a different size but it has been cropped with the same mask of the first triangle so now I need to get uh, to see where I have the error the error is probably on uh, filling the convex poly using uh, the error must be creating the mask probably so we're filling convex polys with triangle uh, we're fitting the points okay we are using points instead of points too now we have both triangle triangle of the first image triangle of the second image now we arrived at the last step the fourth step of this video where we're going to warp the triangles what it means warp triangles it means that we are changing we are transforming the first triangle so that it can fit the second triangle we need to do this we need the three points of the first triangle and the three points of the second triangle and then we can apply an affine transform I showed already in some of the previous video on YouTube how to do a fine transformation. You can check it on my YouTube channel. We're going to do right now a fine transform. So here is the part where we're warping the triangles, warp triangles. First, we need to convert the data type of the points of the, the triangle. PTS1 will be equals now points one points is equals to mp dot float thirty-two of of points while points two is equals to mp dot float thirty-two of points two from these two points, we can now get a matrix get, that we'll uh, that we need it, we'll need for the affine transformation. Matrix is equals to C two dot get affine transform points one points and points two. Uh, let's see if we don't get any error. Let's print the matrix. everything seems to work fine here is the matrix so in simple words we're taking the points of this first image And the second image we have points and points to points out of the first image points to of the second image we converted the array type because we need float 32 to do this operation 
and we get the affine transform so the how this triangle will become this triangle here is the matrix that will allow us to do that transformation so once we have the matrix we can do the final step and we uh, let's call warped triangle is equals to cv2 dot warp affine we take the first image so triangle one this one crop triangle one and we will transform like this one let's find crop triangle one cropped triangle we need to define the matrix and we need to define the, the new width and the new height so it must be curved triangle must be with width and height of the second triangle width and height and finally we show warped triangle in show warped triangle and then warped triangle we have triangle of the first image triangle of the second image and then the triangle of the uh, first image we warped into the triangle of the second image this is all for this video tutorial and our next step will be to do this operation with all the triangles of both faces put them uh, together and after that we will have the face swapped so stay updated if you want to see the following video of face swapping and also again i want to remind you that i'm working on a raspberry pi video course that i will be releasing soon here i have a night vision camera for the raspberry pi also this one will be part of the course and many other features that I'm going to release soon. See you in the next video.